What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Tristan, one half of Living the Grand Life. Today, I'm bringing you all along with me as I do a, a little bit of a facelift on our master bathroom. As you can see, it is very, very bland. So I'm calling this a facelift and not a makeover simply because, I mean, I'm not going to do too much today. I'm just bringing in some new elements to just make the room a little more cozy and just bring some ambiance to it. Um, eventually, I want to do some painting and do some other things. But for now, we're just keeping it light by bringing some new things in. So the first thing I'm bringing in is um, some shelving or like a little cabinet that I bought from Home Goods because we don't have a linen closet in this bathroom. So I needed something to be able to hold towels and supplies and stuff. And I also bought this wooden um, uh, shower seat that I absolutely love. So what I'm doing today is just bringing in some wood tones to go with like the white or light colors that we currently have in there just to sort of marry the two together. Um, and so I bought all of these things um, that you're gonna see here from Home Goods. Um, just to, like I said, just spice it up. So I also brought in some like fake greenery and I had to go fake y'all because let me tell you something, I kill things, okay? The only thing I can keep alive is myself um, and sometimes my wife, you know. Um, I also got this um, table or this tray to go over the tub. I love, love, love the idea of being able to sit in the tub and read and do things like that. So I got that from Amazon and I wanna say it was like 30 bucks. So nothing crazy. Under the sinks are very, very unorganized. It's like I tried to organize at some point and then I just decided to give up. So we gonna fix that today. So I got these shelves from Amazon. I believe they were like, I don't know, $12, maybe $25. I'm not sure. But either way, they slide out or at least the bottom half of it slides out so I can use it as like a drawer just to keep things organized. I decided to um, make this side like cleaning slash hair supplies um, for me. So this is my sink underneath. Um, this is underneath my sink. And then I'll show you what I did with Tasha's sink as well. So under Tasha's sink, we got some cool stuff there. And then, um, like I said, I got these elements from Home Goods and just brought in the woods and the whites. Um, and I got that little soap dispenser from Target for like $2. Here's a super quick close up of that bathtub tray. So I'm just gotta wipe everything down. If you all watch my channel, you know that I ought to have stock with uh, Lysol wipes because I wipes everything down, okay? I don't know who has been on this. So right now, as you can see, what I'm trying to figure out is how do I want this to be set up so that it can hold everything I need to hold and it to be functional and everything. And something about me is I'm extremely indecisive and I will use things in various different places. So I'm really just trying to see what works best. Um, these towels gave me a run for my money, okay? Um, I swear I switched around the towels about five, ten times um, in this video. Um, in real life, it took me probably about 40 minutes to figure out how I wanted to place the towels on this daggone shelf, so. want to remind you all to go ahead and subscribe if you have not watched our channel before welcome 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 we are so happy to have you here at living the grand life and go ahead and subscribe and when you hit that note when you subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified when your new friends the legrands post new content look at that that is so gross and that's why you need to wipe your things out guys Look at me, looking at it. I'm not happy. I'm not pleased. I am not pleased. <laughs> So like I said, I got this uh, cabinet from Home Goods. It was, I wanna say it was $1.99, um, and it's part of like a spa collection or what have you, which is exactly what I was going for, so it works for me. I wanted to bring something into our bathroom 
that could hold towels and soap and things of that nature so we don't have to leave our room, um, especially when we have guests. So I repurposed this thing that was gonna hold the towels initially and just made it something like a little tray to hold my little fake plant here and some body wash and just like a little decorative jar. So if you don't have a collection of Epsom salt um, next to your bathtub, what is you doing, baby, right? Like, so Epsom salt is like a miracle salt right like we absolutely love epsom salt in this house um you've probably seen us do some float spas if you've been watching our channel if you know me at all you know i am a bulk purchaser i cannot stand to be down to the last of anything so i always got a bunch of extras And once again, I am not pleased. So I realized after going back, uh, I didn't like that. I needed to change it up. I didn't like how it was just sitting. I like things to be placed inside of something to keep it organized. So here is the finished product. What do you all think about our facelift? Thanks for watching, you all. Bye.